Hey guys, Nick Gambler here today, and I'm back um, on YouTube again, I guess you could say. I haven't uploaded a video in a little bit, so I'm not doing Fortnite because uh, on Saturday, my friend Aaron spent the night, and we literally played Fortnite all day on Saturday. So, I'm kind of tired of Fortnite. So, what we're going to do today for fun, we're going to play... That's right. We're gonna play some Punch Out Wii. Uh, this game was by far one of the hardest games that I have ever played and beat. Um, and that's because uh, of my age. I was only 14 when I beat this game, and that's why. Plus. This is a remake of... Oh, jeez, that's loud. Um... Oh, wow. My stuff's still here. Um... But... This is a remake of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, which I never played. So this is a remake of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, which I never played, so this is all new. So... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? The batteries are low? Don't say that. Alright, am I able to do career or no? No, okay. I have to I have to do it in exhibition. So I wanted to play through this game. Actually I can make a new I can make a new uh Yeah. I can make a new profile. So let me check the batteries real quick on my other on the other batteries that I had. Ugh. Let's hope that they're good. Watch, they're low too, and then I won't know what to do. I did use to mix match the batteries. Okay, no, these batteries are completely dead. So what if I mix match them? What if I have one like fully charged one and then one kind of dead one? Okay. Okay, how are they now? There we go, full battery. All right, so I think I'm gonna make a new file. And we'll do it that way. Uh, freaking, it doesn't matter. Go, uh, default. Whatever. So here we go. So we're starting off with Glass Joe. I'm not doing any speedrun strats. Because I want to genuinely enjoy the game again. So this game I thought was going to be very easy, like very easy, except for when I got to the third circuit, then everything just went downhill. So, oh yeah, look at this man. Stupid camera, focus. I want to turn the brightness down. Should I do that? Actually, I don't know legitimately how to do it. Oh gosh, this guy. All right, here we go. See if I remember how to play. Oh yeah, I remember how to play. <laughs> yep, remember how to play. <laughs> Wait, does this actually work? Ah, oh, there's a speedrun strat for that. When I said I wasn't gonna do speedrun strats. Yeah, I remember how to play. This game was so fun. I still love this game. All right. So he's down the count already. We might not be able to finish this uh, circuit tonight. I hope we will. Oh, I forgot he just jabs. Here we go. God, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> I would never do boxing in real life. Ever. So, you all won't believe what I found out today. And I know I'm probably late to this, but oh well. So, I, I freaking, uh, for some odd reason, I decided to listen to We Are Number One from Lazy Town. Because I just love that that song. And it just brings back memories of when I used to watch Lazy Town as a kid. And I didn't know the guy that played Robbie Rotten is dead. It said rest in peace I, in the comments section. I didn't know he was dead. I didn't know he passed away. I knew he was retired, but I didn't think he passed away. But like... Just hearing the, that news was just like, oh man, are you kidding me? 
He he died. Uh, why? Just sucks, dude. Cause ah, uh, that that just brings back so many memories of Lazy Town. All right. He, yep. There's Glass Joe. He's down. He's he's done. Ah, uh, Glass Joe. What a guy. I almost went to round two with him, which is, honestly is an, almost an insult. That took five minutes. Well, not even five minutes, because it took me a while to load up everything. Um, yeah, we should be able to finish this whole first circuit for tonight. Alright, Von Kaiser from Germany. This guy's a little bit tougher, but he's not uh, much harder than Glass Joe. He's got an awesome mustache, though, which is amazing. Oh yeah, this guy means business. Oh, never mind. He he got clocked by a kid. Ah oh, man, I didn't see this guy's win rate. I probably should check. He's getting flashbacks of the the war with those kids in the boxing ring. <laughs> All right, here we go. I love how he makes ticking sounds. Wait, you can get. There we go. Actually, if you use a star here. He goes instantly down. He's extremely weak to those. Also, if you push the buttons, and when Little Max starts dancing, that actually br brings your health back up. Like, you can recover health while they're down for the count. So that's awesome. Little Max might... Oh, I thought he was doing his uh, Kaiser spin attack, but I was like, oh, wait, no, that's not so title defense. Um, But, oh, I almost got clocked in the face right there. I lost what I was saying... Oh, Little Max my favorite Smash Brothers character, so that's why I just wanted to play this. Plus, I just felt like playing it again. Oh, he's down. <laughs> I like how he did nothing to dodge that. He just kind of held his head, just like, oh, crap. Uh, I think we're going to take him out. If we get another star, yeah, he's going to be out in round one. Uh, okay, I was going to say, if he doesn't get up, I'll be shocked. I know you could get a star with that, but I decided not to. You could get a star with that, too. There's a lot of ways you could get stars in this game. I should probably try getting a star, but no. He's definitely going to go out. There it is. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. How'd that hit him? How did that hit him? Holy crap. That shouldn't have hit him. But, all right, I'll take it. But yeah, since I never played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I wasn't familiar with any of these characters whatsoever. So I didn't know how to beat them or anything, as where if you play Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, uh, you know uh, what the character's weakness is and all that. But I never played that, so I didn't know. So I was going into this game completely blind. Um, I didn't know how to beat King Hippo. I think I just accidentally found... I didn't ever get on the internet. So when I had this game, because I wasn't into the internet... Like, I wasn't in, into the internet whatsoever back, uh, when I had this game. So, I never, like, looked up how to defeat this character and all of that. I just kind of, like, tried to figure it out for myself. So, Disco Kid here, uh, people, like, dodge left and right. You can just duck underneath all his punches, which is awesome. <laughs> I love the parts where he's like, uh, here it comes. And he, he literally says, here it comes, before throwing the punch. So, you know, he kind of, oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he would do that. See? You can duck underneath all his money. His voice cracks sometimes when you hit him. It's hilarious. Yeah, he said, here it comes right there. There we go. I love this. I love the punch-out theme. It's so great. If you type in re uh, punch-out theme remix on YouTube... Uh, you will be satisfied, trust me. It's great. The remixes on YouTube are great. I don't want to use my star punch just yet. <laughs> I love how I love how hard he like how much heart and soul he puts into those punches. Uh oh he got up on two. Wow, I'm amazed. Maybe he's gonna tell me that. <laughs> Alright, well, so, if you 
completely KO an opponent with a star punch, uh, you get a cool little, like, cutscene when you defeat them, which is what I'm kind of going for here. No, I lost it. Hang on. I know. That... There we go. That's how we get it. All right, we're going in round two with him because I messed up. I would mess up here. Well, well, decided to get one last hit on him right there. Oh, yeah. I guess I can see my health is regaining, but not a whole lot. Ah, uh, why did I mess up there? Sh Shut up. <laughs> Uh All right. <laughs> Not good looking with that bandage, that swollen eye and the missing tooth. Okay. I love the voice cracks. Okay. So I'll use my star punch here when I knock when I stun him again. No, that didn't knock him out. Alright. That's fine. Regain some of my health. Oh. I stopped pushing buttons. I was like, oh, he's getting up. I forgot they can, like, almost get up, but then fall back down. There we go. Alright. He's up again. The man, the myth, the legend, he's back. But I know everything looks easy right now. But trust me, this is the one game that actually made me want to throw my controller. And, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to duck, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna... There we go, there's the cutscene. <laughs> wow. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, everything looks easy right now. But like I said, this game is the first game this is literally the first game ever that made me want to throw my controller and that's just yeah it gets real hard i'm probably gonna have as much trouble back then i probably have as much trouble that i had back then here now um king hippo so his weakness is his belly uh but you only have to knock uh out his hp bar once so once you get that HP bar down once, he's he's dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. That's not legal in boxing to kill anybody. He's he's knocked out. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at how much food he eats. Look at that. This guy is huge. Yeah. How does that crown always stay in his head? Who knows? I wish I could turn the brightness down, but I'll have to try again at some other point. Oh my gosh, he's bigger than I thought he was. Okay. You can only attack him when his mouth is open. Oh, I missed. There we go. I know, it's going to be rough for you all to see. I'll have to figure out how to turn the brightness down on this TV. I was able to in my old one because there, there was actually a button that said settings. There's no button that says settings on my new TV remote, so I'll have to figure that out later. Oh, I always forget about that. Oh, I missed it. I went for an ow. I went for an uppercut. Okay, when you get him at half health, he's going to do this one move that you're going to have to duck underneath. And I think he's at half health now. Yes, he's at half health now. So here, here it comes. But you could do that. <laughs> Which is completely avoidable. And then if you hit him again there, he's out for the count. Like this. <laughs> well, that's King Hippo for you. Ugh. Good old King Hippo. I recently, I uh, not recently, but I did eventually play Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And then I kind of knew what to do. Ah, uh, my language. I knew what to, I knew what to, wait. Oh, anyways, I figured out what I was supposed to do, and, um, I never got past Great Tiger, because, man, he, he had a move that was, like, almost impossible to dodge, like, all together. So, 
I'll probably end the video here, actually, because of the fact that since we defeated the... Well, we can watch this next circuit thing. Slow cutscene. All right, so in the next episode, uh, we will take down Piston Hondo and these other mysterious boxers. So if you guys enjoy the series, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helped my channel grow. And uh, if you want... Uh, if you want to, check out my Twitch channel. It's Nick Gameplay 3 on Twitch. And I do Twitch streams there. Um, I might be doing... I don't know if I'll be doing a Twitch stream tonight. Probably not. Um, but, yeah. So, I hope you all are enjoying the series, like I said. And I will see you all in the next video. I, um, I don't know if I'll be uploading tomorrow because I'm with my dad. Uh... I might be, I, actually I don't know if I'll be uploading tomorrow or m Tuesday because I'm with my dad, but Wednesday I should start uploading videos on YouTube again, and I should do Twitch stream that night as well. So, I'll see you all, I'll stop chit-chatting now, I'll see you all in the next video, and goodbye everybody.